It's going to be a quick review of my old clamp meter. This is the Klein CL390. It's a fairly affordably priced clamp meter, and I actually think it's got a lot of value packed into it. Uh, when I first bought it, I was just using it for testing switches, using the continuity setting. But then I got into industrial maintenance, and I've been using this for testing 480 volt circuits. Um, I've actually used it quite a bit for taking amperage readings on variable frequency drives. It works pretty well. A couple of the things that I like about it, the voltage auto ranging is quite nice and it works quite well. Plug it into this electrical out outlet right next to me here and it's a fairly fast auto ranging. It's nothing super fancy or super fast top of the line but it works well enough for a guy that just needs to use this maybe once a day. And then the uh, amperage, it'll do direct current and alternating current. And I believe that, yeah, direct current, you can actually get a fair amount of amperage. So it's not just microamps, DC. The capacitance, diode, and ohms setting is actually pretty impressive for a meter of this price point. So if I go into ohms, see so we cycle through kilo ohms, now we're at mega ohms. Again, I think this is under $100. Might have changed since I bought it, but look at that. I can take the resistance of my skin, 0.7 mega ohms. I think this finger is still a little sweaty from being in some gloves, so uh, pretty impressive ohms range for a meter of this price point. The capacitance setting works well, works as it should. Never use the diode. And let's see the response time for continuity. And these are the leads that it came with. You can see here on the meter. They ohm out pretty well, 0.1. I've had my Probe Master leads on this, the 8000 series Probe Master leads, and they also ohm out at 0.1, so that might be some resistance built out, built into the, uh, actually, wait, I'm in the wrong setting. Let's see. Yeah, if I go to ohms, they should actually ohm out at zero. Yeah, so that works fine. Um, got microamps for controls or flame sensors on furnaces. Micro amps or nano amps. I don't use this setting, but I know it's useful for HVAC guys that are using this feature to uh, test flame sensors or flame detection devices. The cycle or the Hertz setting works fine for standard, you know, electrical testing. But if you're trying to pull Hertz off of a or cycles or frequency off of a variable frequency drive. This will absolutely not do what I've tried. And I think the cycle rate is too high for this little meter. And you also have the ability to hook up a thermocouple. Another nice feature. It's got the little pokey holder. So you can, you know, in case you don't have a third hand with you. Now, one thing I don't like is the amount of bulk that Klein's, I took the magnet strap off and put it on my fluke, but the the bulk it adds here on the back is fairly substantial. It wouldn't take much to redesign that to make it lower profile, but I can't really fault them very much, again, for a meter at this price point. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. The test leads that I came with, I've been using for pretty much the entire life of the meter. They're fairly flexible. They're nothing like silicone test leads. These are just PVC leads, but as far as PVC leads go, they're not too bad. Uh, they are broken in. I've probably had this meter, I don't know, three, four, five years, but they're not too bad for the price point. Nothing to really complain about. Um, it's kind of ugly, <laughs> but it's pretty compact, and it's been a pretty good meter for me. Hopefully you found that useful or found some decent information in here, and thanks for watching.